Hey everyone, we're here with a little, well I guess I was going to say unboxing, but it's not really an unboxing video because it has already been unboxed. Now I, I got the game like this, and by like this I mean it's already unboxed when I got it. So I couldn't do an unboxing video when they gave it to me, or I guess the account manager gave it to me. It was already unboxed, so... You know, I couldn't do an unboxing video. But anyways, Green Lantern, Rise of the Manhunter. If you're a Green Lantern fan, then this is probably one of the games you want to get. Now, this is a pretty old game. I'm not sure. Well, let me look this up. Give me a moment. I don't think it's that old because I think it was like in 2011, right? It's not like 10 year old. That's all I'm saying. Rise of the Manhunter. Now let's just check this out. And this thing does have capabilities to 3D screen if you have 3D. I tried playing it, but I got tired. I was like, forget it. I, I do have a 3D TV. And you have those glasses. It's kind of weird when you play 3D. I don't know. I mean, some people like it, but I don't think there's much of a difference. I'd rather have, like, a VR glass or something. Alright, just trying to pull the thing up here on Google, but it's not going anywhere, which means we have to wait around. But anyways, let's take a look at this. Essentially, you have the actor there, but he's not going to be playing in the game. Well, it's computer graphics. Anyways... Now, you'll notice the beginning intro of the game is really, really freaking good. I mean, when you look at it, the hair and everything, all the graphics were amazing. When I first played it, I was like, wow, this is amazing. But further on in the game, you'll notice that the graphics don't keep up. I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so just got it off Google now. It was released on June 7th, 2011. So not that long ago, maybe three years ago. But here it is. And this is what it looks like if you're wondering. And yeah. You're not going to be playing with, as John. You're going to be playing as Hal. Hal Jordan and Sinestro is there as well. Let's see what else you have here. There's some... I guess it's a hack and slash game basically. You're going to be doing a lot of hacking and slashing. But anyways, let's take a look at the book and then that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. You know, some of you, well, <laughs> I guess I definitely am into art and things like that. And usually, you know, I do want to look at the art book and the disc itself. I mean, these things were like so collectible. I'm a collector. If you know me, I'm a collector. I like collecting things. And whenever something looks good, I love collecting that. So you have the manual, which is good. I guess it was released in 2011. That's why they still have manuals. But in 2014, they don't have manuals anymore. So you can't... <laughs> I don't know. I, I think uh, we got Spider-Man for a PS4. And it was like $70. And it had no manual. But yeah, here it is. That's pretty much it. That is what the disc looks like if you're wondering. And that's Green Lantern Rise of the Manhunter.